Hey guys, Jake here coming at you with another math problem today. We're going to do a two part question. Um, this is the first part. Uh, basically, we are given that, you know, suppose y equals the square root of 2x plus 1, where x and y are functions of t. Part A is going to be if dx dt equals 3, find dy dt when x equals 4. This is a good example of an implicit differentiation problem because we're given this equation of x and y and we are told that x and y are both functions of t. Not only that, we are told to find dy dt, and since we have a dt down here, that pretty much tells us, you know, obviously we're gonna be taking the derivative with respect to time, or t, I should say. Um, and since this equation that we are given doesn't have any t's in it, it's just x and y, which are functions of t, that tells us we're gonna have to apply implicit differentiation. So the best place to start Obviously, we're looking for dy dt here. We're given some information about x and dx dt. Best place to start is just by taking the derivative with respect to t of both sides of this equation. Before we do that, though, let's think about how we could rewrite this equation um, without a square root, because square roots are kind of a pain in the butt. So what we can do is just say y equals 2x plus 1 to the 1 half power because raising something to the one half is the same as taking the square root. So now when we take the derivative with respect to t of both sides of this equation, we can just do power rule and chain rule for the right side over here. So first of all, derivative of y with respect to t is just gonna be dy dt. And then using the chain rule here, we will call what's in the parentheses here our inside function. So taking the chain rule would say to do the derivative of the outside, leave the inside alone. So bring the one half down in front, leave the two X plus one alone, lower the power by one. So one half minus one would be negative one half. And then we have to multiply this by the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of two X plus one with respect to T is just gonna be two times the derivative of X, which is DX DT and then the derivative of a constant is just zero. So that's not gonna do anything. So here's our derivative. We need to find dy dt, which is already isolated, so that makes things a little easier. And we also know that dx dt is three and x is four. So we can basically just plug in three for dx dt. So this is gonna be three right here. And then we can plug in four for x. So this right here is gonna be four. And then we can simplify that. So doing that is just gonna give us, so let's kind of think about what we have on our numerator and our denominator. Having this be to the negative one half means that this is essentially on our denominator. So on our numerator, we're just gonna have a one times two times three. So that's just gonna be six. On our denominator, we're gonna have all this being raised up to the one half, which is the same as taking the square root of that. So two times four is eight plus one is nine. The square root of 9 is 3, so all this gives us a 3 on the denominator, and then we also have this 2 on our denominator. So 2 times 3 is 6, 6 over 6 is 1. So dy dt is 1. But we're not done yet, remember this is a two-part question, so let's go on to the second part now. So now in the second part of this question, part b, we're trying to say if dy dt equals 5, find dx dt when x equals 12. So now we know what dy dt and x are, and we're looking for dx dt. So the first step of this is going to be just like the last one. We're just going to take the derivative with respect to t of both sides of this equation. We've already done that, so I'm just going to skip to the result of that step, and then I'll show you what to do from there. All right, so this is what happens after you take the derivative with respect to t of both sides of our original equation up here. Now all we need to do, again, is just plug in the information we know, and then we're trying to find dx dt. So first of all, dy dt is five, so we're gonna have a five right here. And then we know x is 12, so we can put a 12 for x right here, and then we're trying to solve for dx dt. So let's simplify all this and solve it. First of all, inside our parentheses, just based on order of operations, we're gonna have two times 12, which is 24, plus one is 25. And then remember, taking the negative one half power is the same as doing one over the square root of all that. So one over the square root of 25 is one over five. T 
times one half times two dx dt and all that equals five so one half times two these are going to cancel out we can multiply both sides by five to move this one fifth over to the other side so multiply by five is going to cancel with the one fifth multiply by five is going to give us 25 equals dx dt and that's all there is to it Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel. It's a great way to support the channel so I can keep making more videos like this one. See you next time.